So, in this video, we are here to debunk or to rather bust some makeup myth that have been going around. It's really been a while that I wanted to do this video just because there are some things that a lot of people say that are not necessarily true, that are not facts when it comes to makeup. So in this video, we're going to be talking about like, I don't know, but we're going to be talking about a number of them and I am going to be telling you why you actually need to be doing those things that people are telling you not to do. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So we're just going to be going right ahead to bust some makeup myth right on this channel. So the first myth that I am going to be busting is eyebrows should be darker than your hair let me just start that this is 2021 and in 2021 we do things a whole lot differently we do a whole lot of things differently especially in the makeup industry especially in the beauty world you cannot you cannot in 2021 still be moving around with dark eyebrows guys look at my brows look at my hair do they look anything alike? If for anything your brows are supposed to be as natural and as light as they can be. The only reason why you should have darker brows is if you have a very light hair or your hair is looking like it's kind of blonde-ish. So that is the only reason why you should have darker brows. Other than that, come up with it, Joe. Do you understand? Come up with it for that place. You're not supposed to be found there. Always move with eyebrows that are looking natural every freaking day another one that i hear a whole lot of people say is to match your foundation the place that you can test it is on your cheek or on your hand guys that is not true doing that you are never going to find your perfect shade let's say you go to a a mark store and you want to match your foundation definitely they know what they're doing there so let's not use mark store let's use a random your random store in the market now you want to buy a foundation and you go to a Mecca store and Emeka says that you have to test the foundation and Emeka tells you to bring your hand to test the foundation on your hand now tell Emeka that I said that, that is not going to give you your right foundation why because most of the time our face is kind of either darker either a bit darker or a bit lighter most of the time not always so if emeka now tells you to bring your hand which is a bit lighter than your face how is that going to give you your true foundation color now the best way that you can actually um, get your foundation shade is if you apply it on your jawline and then blend it in if it disappears Perfect, but if it doesn't disappear That's not your foundation shade and it's way advisable to do to check for your foundation shade in natural light Don't go to a makeup store and a makeup has blue lights and you're checking for your foundation shade in that blue light A makeup will not collect that foundation when you go back to return it through. So it's better to go outside the makeup shop and then sorry swatch your foundation to get your exact foundation shade now another myth that people go around saying is that oily skin do not need moisturizer that is totally false in as much as you have an oily skin you need moisturizer in your life the type of moisturizer that i would advise that you get is a moisturizer that is very very light don't use heavy moisturizer. This myth is something, is one thing that a whole lot of people have been riding with for the longest of time. This myth, red lipstick does not suit everybody. Excuse me, ma, who told you that? Who told you that red lipstick is not for everyone? I must say for a fact that there is a red lipstick for everyone. The only reason you might be believing this myth is because you are yet to, you are probably yet to find your own red lipstick shade so my advice to you is that you keep searching continue finding continue searching until you find that red lipstick that is for you another myth that we're going to be debunking in this video is that you can avoid washing your makeup brushes if you are the only one using them like i said before this is 2021 guys 
we can do better we should do better the longer you avoid washing your brushes the, the more bacteria accumulates in its fibers don't you know that are you not afraid of getting different different type of skin disease you see you know they fear and not washing your makeup brushes often not only reduces the shelf life of those brushes it can also cause skin reactions it can also make you break out and probably other skin related diseases and what i would suggest to you is that you wash your brush as often as you use them i personally wash my brushes immediately after every use like especially if you if you are a personal user you can do better because i'm very sure that you do not have so much brushes as i would have so why not i have like over I have like almost 150 brushes and I wash them like I wash them so what is your excuse so please wash your brushes very very often and I would suggest that you wash it immediately after every use same goes for your beauty blenders guys <laughs> do better now this is 2021 another myth is there is no harm sleeping with your makeup I don't want to use the word this is 2021 again because I'm beginning to sound like a broken record well, how can you sleep with your makeup like really this is nothing but a myth and it's nowhere close to being a fact. When you sleep with your makeup on, what you're doing is basically clogging your pores more. You're not allowing your face to breathe. If not for anything, sleeping helps your skin regenerate itself and repair itself. Because whenever you sleep, your skin replenishes, your skin regenerates, your skin, that's why most of the time when you wake up, your skin looks like it's way smoother than it was when you slept. So you are doing yourself a disservice if you're sleeping with your makeup on. I hear that there are some people, especially those people that pay for makeup artists to do their makeup, I hear that some of them actually sleep with it and then probably they do their makeup on a Saturday, they sleep with it and then take it to church on Sunday. You know they fear God. Yeah, sister, you know they fear God. Hey, <laughs> God. You think you're doing me? <laughs> So the next myth on our list is expensive or let me say designer makeup designer makeup is better for you. you know that we all love to buy all these designer stuff designer jewelry designer clothes designer bags with all these brands that have names i know that we love to, everybody i love to have those kind of things i love the good things of life in makeup one of the major difference between a high-end product or an expensive product or a designer product one of the main difference between that and a drugstore product or a low-end product is just the price in most cases it's just the price tag and that's on period most of the things that are in a high-end product is the same thing that is still in a low-end product in your words that is still in nigerian brands that is still in drugstore products now most of us to look at Nigerian brands, Nigerian beauty brands as they are, they are not up to that. They are not up to that. But then there are a lot of Nigerian brands in Nigeria that are awesome. Like you should just try them out. They are awesome. I cannot even begin to list names. They are plenty. The cost of the product doesn't really matter as there are generally no difference between designer product and Nigerian brand. <laughs> see this myth that I'm about to talk about now. Is you see, a lot of people say that makeup can't expire. Now you make them. And this is the most talked about thing that I've heard a lot of people say. Probably they are thinking in their mind, how can I spend this big amount of sort of money and then I'm going to get this small thing and they will tell me in so 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 time. Let me stop using it. Guys, it's for your own good. Stop using it. Please, oh, makeup expires. Now, I'm going to be showing you an example of that, of where you can see the expiry date of your makeup products. This is the Zikel X Brega Lip Glaze, and this is one of their new releases. So, if you're seeing this, yeah, I hope you are. Yeah. So, most of the makeup products that you buy, most of them, either have it on their packs or they have it written on the bottle itself now for this um lip glaze from zico is written behind now it's written on the pack now if you look closely 
if you look closely like somewhere here you will see where um it's written 36 m 36 m i hope you guys are seeing it now what this means is that you can use this product for nothing more than three years the six months is what that m stands for it stands for months you can use this product for nothing less than three years from the day you open it actually if you buy it today and you don't use it till december it doesn't count but once you open any product it starts counting from that day there are also some products that when you buy you don't see any form of expiration date or that the day you open it have it in your mind so that you from that day you count like six months later or tops 12 months later which is one year that's my advice to you because when you use products that are expired you don't know what would happen to you once you use products that have passed their shelf life it doesn't do anything else what happens is that over time the, the ingredients in that product breaks down and it can cause the products to have another consistency in general expired products can also grow bacteria which can make you break out in the long run so there's no use just to it they will save up some more money save up money and then buy it again you get so it's just for your own skin skin it's for your own skin it's not for me okay so please in case there are products that you have in your course that have passed the expiration date and you know in your heart that it has passed it away and come and buy. I'm still saying another myth that I hear all over the place is that makeup is bad for you. Now, I hear a lot of people say this, and I wonder what they base their facts on. I actually do wonder what they base their facts on. I am a makeup artist, I wear makeup almost every other day. I apply makeup on people's faces, I do all of that like it's my job. When it comes to concerns like wrinkles, fine lines, patchiness, and the likes of them, the only thing you can blame here is biology not makeup makeup did not do you anything wrinkles can be caused by so many factors and some of these factors are either smoking stress some environmental factors amongst other things i would suggest that you get a good skincare routine that you can be very consistent with the last myth that i'm going to be busting on this video is you don't need sunscreen if your foundation has spf in it or you don't need sunscreen if most of the products that you have and that you're going to be applying has SPF in it. If you are among the bandwagon of people that say this and those people also that believe that so long as my makeup products have SPF in it, I don't need to wear sunscreen before I apply those makeup products. Guys, stop it. You apply sunscreen on your face. Either you use the spray, the one in the spray can or you use the cream, the one in the tube. So either way, use a sunscreen before you apply any form of foundation or concealer or any form of product. Makeup alone cannot provide the amount of SPF or sunscreen that you need on a daily basis. Now we have come to the end of this video. If you are new to the makeup world, I suggest that you keep the, all of these myths that I'm all of these myths that I mentioned in this video. I suggest that you keep them in mind. And for those of you that are not new to the makeup world. I would like to know if you've heard about some of this myth or this is the first time you're hearing about them. I would also love to know which ones you believed and which one you thought were just them telling you not to just be a fine girl. <laughs> Alright, so let me know all of this in the comment section. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I really appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you you think about subscribing to my channel is that red button down below and it's free fellas it's free so please subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and i'll definitely see you in one of my other videos either the next or the previous one until then please stay safe and stay blessed bye